you know what is Idri Forge? It's like uh, two people maybe in the village around the forest. So this is a very good place uh, with very good energy. But, uh, this place will gu guide you. This energy will guide you to become a better person, to develop all quality you need to serve the world. Don't think somewhere you can find something similar. When you come here, you feel something which you cannot find in any other place. Uh, training center, uh, it is a place where you get transformed into another person. And uh, you will acquire or you will gain the capacity to serve the world uh, in a better way. Namaskar, my dear friends. Uh, my name is Vireshwar. In my life, uh, uh, always uh, was someone from whom I can learn something about spirituality. The life just brought people into my life, and uh, it was in a flow. So, and also I was interested in different uh, kind of uh, uh, teachings. So I picked up something from one, some fasting. Then gradually I. Uh, I came uh, to some condition when I, when just three questions was, what is this world? And uh, if this world has a creator, then what is the creator? I would like to know. <laughs> and uh, my link, link uh, between, uh, cre uh, between me, creator, and the world, which existing around. And I was working uh, as a um, software engineer for 10 years in Moscow, you know, uh, sitting and programming and nothing about, uh, nothing much about spirituality. But then uh, this gra gradual awakening, gradual uh, things like proper diet, I became vegetarian. I started to do fasting, I pick up in some book uh, how to do fasting, I start to do fasting. Then the good company, company of uh, people also helped me. And then slowly I gave up all the bad habits and uh, I think mind became purified uh, enough to, to come to spirituality, to grasp the idea. I met a community of Ananda Marga in Moscow. That, that Ananda Marga could answer these questions and I was fall in love with the, all the acharyas I met, all the stories I heard about my guru, about spirituality. And by their example, I was inspired to uh, also to become an Acharya. Uh, inspiration to become an Acharya came from uh, the two sides, you see, the main side. It's a community of Ananda Marga in Moscow, which inspired me so much to, uh, to go to search for, you know, for something and do meditation. Since they teach me meditation Bhavan and Kyolam, I was very strict. I did every day, twice a day. I'll never skip. And fasting, all these things I picked up there. And uh, another thing, it uh, work, uh, working in Europe uh, as LFT, when, uh, where I met the Dada, Ganadevananda, and uh, this, this also big inspiration, this one year, it was full transformation. So when I decided to go uh, from Moscow, the first point was uh, Italy, uh, Catania, where I met my dad, Ganadevananda, with his project uh, after school for children, so many children there. And uh, there, there I worked as LFT for one year. Mostly I was working there with the children or I was working with the construction work there. Uh, I came in train center after my LFT period, it was uh, 2021. Uh, beginning of May 2021, I came to train center and I've been here for three years. Uh, about the life in train center, I can say a few things. Uh, the most important points here is the discipline then uh, to develop yourself as a, a spiritual leader. So you develop some project and uh, you take initiative to do something. It is very good. 
and also develop all your all sides of your personality and the another thing that it keeps you away from the disturbance of the daily life it's like uh, our phones and uh, all these things we keep we try to keep uh, as, as far as possible and internet things of course uh, sometimes we use it because we need for retreats for organizing things for maintaining this place but uh, and the training is something about uh, the taking the hardship Uh, at the beginning, when I came, uh, like one, uh, three years ago, uh, I, it was a little bit strange for me because there was only two trainers, only two. It was me and Nataraja at that time. And, uh, but now here is a very nice flow with a lot of brothers. They do karma yoga every day. They do many things, they plan how to improve the, this training, how to improve the, the, the building, how to improve the life here also. There is a plan, uh, vision of Dada Sadananda to make like 50 trainers. Can you imagine 50 trainers here? It will be like a, like a heaven, <laughs> heaven of uh, you know, transformation that uh, mixture of different cultures, different different skills we learn from each other and it's uh, very beautiful. In training center, uh, in my memory, there is uh, the most bright projects. It, there are three, three, three projects. And uh, so first one uh, project, uh, it was at the beginning of my training, actually after half a year, then Dan Sadananda came here and we, we were inspired uh, to start the project, uh, which uh, later uh, we called uh, Yoga Monastery. Uh, we started this project to maintain the training center because it was in such condition we cannot pay, uh, we cannot pay the bills. It's about retreats and about uh, how to involve many, many people and uh, that they can get opportunity to charge themselves there, here. Uh, last year we did about uh, eight retreats. Uh, three was for, new for experienced practitioners and four was for newcomers. And the second project were, was uh, Sound Studio. Uh, at the basement of the green building and uh, I, was, I was inspired, I don't know, by some force uh, just was pushing me every day in, not in the, in the time of uh, official time of working but uh, in the, my evening, my uh, time like a dinner time or something I, w I was like a crazy, I don't know what's happened and uh, other brothers sometimes they help uh, and we built that studio and there is another room when we collected all the cassettes, all the knowledge of this training center, of this place. But I was inspired also to do that. And now they're all there and uh, in the shelves and waiting for someone who will digitalize them and share with the world. This is a really great uh, treasure. And I hope in the future that many musicians trainees musicians, volunteer musicians, they will come and they will uh, make a very good co content and share with the people. That was my inspiration. And the third project, uh, it is uh, uh, reconstruction of old building. One was that uh, this old building, uh, we was living there, it's around and, uh, surrounded by forests so beautiful and lake there and uh, the plan was that trainees will live there when we will finish. Very grateful that I have experience to live there three months before we destroy everything. <laughs> we were living there uh, about seven brothers I think uh, in that building one summer and it was the uh, most beautiful uh, period of my life here, lifetime here. So. That's why I got inspired. Ananda Margis helped on with this project and uh, to 
finance this and uh, our sponsors and Dada Sadananda. Thank you to them because uh, they inspired us, the trainers, to reconstruct this building. Of course, without them, we won't do it. So we worked with Dada, Dada Gunat Mananda. He's uh, the greatest worker in, in I don't know, which I, which I know. And I really appreciate the time when we worked with him, but we didn't finish. So there is a still the, the roof is leaking, we need to fix this and that. So please join to support and we will do, we will finish that. The brothers, the, they inspired to do. Uh, I'm very grateful uh, to our sponsors and uh, our teachers, dadas. They give us chance to uh, to give more time to studying because before was a lot of uh, hard work and uh, you cannot concentrate on studying so much but now there is a balance now there is a balance and this balance then after training we bring to the world this our sponsors contribute and uh, everybody who come here our volunteers the others uh, they all contribute a lot so I'm I'm very grateful. Uh, when I came to train center, the most difficult thing for me was uh, not schedule. Uh, but uh, at the time when I came, I was uh, on here on a training. I never had any like uh, you know countryside house or in Russia it's very it's very common. So or something which people go and work there. I, I couldn't imagine. Then I went to Moscow, I was living ten years in a big city. So everything is there. You want to go gallery, you want to go cinema, you want to communicate with people, you want whatever you want. And Moscow is very big. But when I came here I was thinking, my God, is this uh, can I manage or not <laughs> that three years? Slowly, slowly my my you know, the rhythm was adjusted. Uh, the most easy part, uh, the most easy part, I don't know if it's existing in train center. <laughs> because in train center, uh, it's for that reason that to uh, overcome the uh, difficulties. Here in train center, we follow the schedule and uh, this is a very big uh, part of the training, so you should be very strict. I mean, you wake up uh, for 15 uh, and all the trainers, they have to wake up in the morning uh, very early, then take a bath, then do your, all your duties, morning duties, then uh, you come to Panchajani. Uh, and before Panchajani, when you repeat some Ananda Sutra. After Panchajani, we do uh, meditation about one hour and a half. Sometimes it varies, sometimes we do Akanda Kirtan also. <clears throat> we did here, I think, half year Akanda Kirtan every day at four, three hours. So we do everything collectively. We do one and a half hour meditation, then we do asana, standards, uh, kaushiki, then breakfast, then go study time. Uh, then again, noon meditation, karma yoga, so many things here in training center. It is so interesting to be here. And like this, so until uh, evening meditation, dinner, avarta kirtan, all these things we have to do every day. So all the three years you live in this way and uh, improve your discipline and uh, this will help you a lot to improve your personality, to become a person who can inspire others, who can lead others, and who can take part in changing the world, in serving the, the people. We are here with Dada, Hari Kripananda, and we were uh, going to the nature, collect blueberry, blueberry in the forest. It's, it's, Sounds a simple story, but uh, when you're developing the quality of concentration, I know something happened in that forest. That forest really changed me so much. I don't know, we were here just collecting blueberry every day probably, and sometimes making some jam, 
but um, yeah, we didn't sell anything, we just eat ourselves, <laughs> enjoy it in the morning. And that was nice. Uh, yeah, then the Harry Kripanan, I was sing Kirtan, he sing very loudly in the forest. And it was interesting. The most uh, bright period in my memory of the training center is it was uh, three months when we were living in an old building. And that was an amazing time. So we were living there, and there, a little bit uh, discomfort was a little bit more, you know. Uh, because the old building and there was uh, very like cold water and these things and our lifestyle was more collective like one room we're living in one room all we wake up at the same time and uh, there is no possibility for any like personal space you know <laughs> now we have uh, the rooms and uh, much better but that time still uh, all, all the this uh, uh, things they, they give some feeling. So like I remember I uh, I went it's, it, not every morning, but once I decided like a few weeks I will go to the lake uh, by bicycle. So I will I would like to wake up a little bit before the or in uh, 4:15. Usually wake up 4:15, but sometimes I woke up before and I drive to the lake. Then wash there my clothes. I can enjoy some kind of uh, simple life. I don't know. It was for me like simple, like I'm a yogi living in the forest, and uh, what else I need? The try to be happy in the uh, having the minimum things, and that house, that lifestyle was very, very good. It was many difficulties, of course, but uh, many happy moments also there. Bye. Wow. 